you can pretty much get your dog to learn anything by using these little tricks. So let's get started. This is Sir Murphy Wiggle Waggles the First, or just Murphy for short. He's a Havanese training to become a therapy dog for elementary school children. And these are his tales. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about lure training or shaping your dog. This is a method that you can use to train your dog to do just about any trick or command. Uh, it doesn't work for all of them, but for the most part, any tricks or commands, it will work for. Maybe like 70-80% of these. And all you need to know is these basic steps and then visualize what you want your dog to do. So. For today, Murphy and I are going to try and do a spin. I promise you, Murphy does not know how to do a spin move. That's where he's going to stand in a spot and spin around. Um, I'm going to try and teach him with the lure training method, but I'll also show you a few other things like maybe how to get your dog to sit with lure training or how to get your dog to lie down. Um, Murphy's really good at both of those commands, but uh, you can pretty much get your dog to learn anything by using these little tricks. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a high value treat. For lure training, you want your dog to be really interested in this treat. Look, Murphy is super duper interested in this treat. He will follow my hand anywhere it goes so long as he can smell that treat and thinks he might get it. So for a high value treat, good boy, yes, good boy. For a high value treat, uh, usually you want something that your dog likes. It has to be something your dog likes, something your dog will follow. Here I'm using um, liver snaps or training treats, just your typical ones. I bought them at the store. Um, it's all good. You can also use chicken, real meat. You can use um, anything that your dog is going to follow. Uh, failing that, your dog might even follow a toy, and toys are good too. Um, but you really need to make sure that it's something your dog knows will follow. Step one of lure training. Get your dog's nose interested in this. And then all you've got to do is move the treat where you want your dog to move. It's that simple. Step one. No commands. Nothing. Just get your dog to do the action. Shape the action that you want your dog to do. So here. We're gonna get him to spin. Good spin, yes! Give him the treat. That's easy, it's that easy. Okay, that's step one. Notice how I did the spin. I made his body do a spin move. And then after he did it, reward right away, said yes, so that he knew he did a good thing. That's what I wanted him to do. I'm gonna practice it a few more times with Murphy, just so that uh, he can start letting the action and the muscle memory start kicking in for him okay this is easy this is so easy this is free treats for him like he gets to follow a treat around and then he gets it like that's great so this is good positive training for your dog all right murphy come here yes let's do this good spin yes should we do it again yeah three or four times guys before you move on to the next step Keep doing it. Good spin, yes. Good boy. Oh, these are good treats. You can tell Murphy's really engaged in this. Spin. Yes. Good boy. Good spin. Good boy. I'm gonna do it one more time, and then we'll move on to step 1.5. Here. Huh? Good spin, yes. Good boy! Yay, Murphy! Yay, he's a good boy! Yes, he's a good boy! Yes! Step 1.5. This is really similar to step 1. That's why I called it 1.5. Now, um, while you're luring your dog into the motion that you want him to take, uh, you are just saying the word 
that you want him to associate with the trick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move them in a circle and I'm gonna say spin. Okay. Now remember, this works for any trick that you want to teach your dog. Okay. So it doesn't need to be a spin. It can be a sit. It can be a it can be a down. It can be a, a weave. <laughs> it can be a um, it can be a lot of things. It can be a rollover. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit as far as what you want to teach your dog with this method. So, it's a very well-known method. It's positive reinforcement all the way. Okay, so step 1.5. Say the command while you're shaping your dog into the trick. When he's done, click if you use a clicker. Verbal uh, affirmation, give him the treat. Okay, here we go. Spin. Yes, good spin. Good boy. Should we do it again? Three or four times, again. Just same thing, repetition, repetition, consistency. Here, spin. Yes, good boy. Good boy. All right, I'll do the next few times off camera, but we'll go to step two next. You might notice that today we're filming on a train track. Now, for the record guys, I don't recommend you take your dog to train tracks to train them. Uh, I know for a fact that this train track is abandoned. There will be no trains coming along. I just want you to know that the dog is in no danger. I'm in no danger. It's all good. Uh, this train track is absolutely abandoned. I've chosen this location because it's beautiful, but also um, because I want to expose Murphy to different areas of the world and different locations and having a couple steel bars nearby is just something different. It's a little different. So step two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the command, lure the shape that we want, and click reward and give it to him, and here's the key. Um, same thing as before, but we say the command first, lure him in a, in a spin, uh, click reward, same as step one, step 1.5, but here's the new trick, okay? We're gonna then reward him from the opposite hand. So the lure treat, he doesn't actually get that one. He gets a different treat that I'm holding in my other hand, okay? So then he starts to associate the command and the action with the reward, not the lure, okay? So that he starts to understand that when I do this, I get the reward, not the lure, okay? So he's starting to understand I'm not getting the reward for following the lure. I'm getting the reward for following the command. All right, Murphy, come here. Here we go. You like that? Yeah, spin. Good boy. Still have that one? Gave the treat to him, to him from a different hand. Okay, do that. Again, five, six times. So I'll do it a couple more times just so you guys really understand what I'm doing here, okay? Different treat in the other hand. Get him interested in the lure, spin. Yes, good boy, good boy. All right, one more time. Spin. Good boy. He's really starting to get it now. You saw him actually start turning his nose before I even moved my hand that direction. He's starting to understand the spin move. Now, when you're teaching spin in particular, I know that this isn't a tutorial about spin, but uh, when you're teaching the spin in particular, uh, you might want to try doing it both directions with your dog. You can even um, say spin is this way and twirl is the opposite direction. Spin and twirl. It's pretty fun to watch your dog go whoosh, 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 back and forth as you go spin, twirl, spin, twirl. And people love that. All right, guys. Step three. And this is technically the final step. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think Murphy's gonna do it. I haven't practiced step one and two enough yet. Um, but step three is now just bringing it all together into the final command, which is I just sit here, I say spin. Notice how I'll do the same action as I did with the lure. Give him the command, and if he does it, he gets a reward. Now, I have not practiced the spin on steps one and two enough with Murphy. I don't think he's going to do it for you guys today. But 
this is how you would do it. Now, take your time with these steps. Don't progress to the next step until your dog is ready. Okay, I know I'm breaking my own rules by going to step three. I don't think he's ready. I'm telling you that. I would not normally do this, but for the sake of a demonstration, this is what step three is going to be. So, Murphy, get his attention. Focus. Good focus. Good boy. Spin. <laughs> yeah, he's got no clue what to do. So I'm going to lure him. Don't be afraid to go back a step or two and just help him get to know what that trick is that you want him to do. So, spin. Good spin, Murphy. Good boy. All right. So I'm actually going to go back to step two because I think he's mastered step one pretty good. All right, Murphy. Ooh. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Ready? Spin. Good boy. Yes, spin. Spin. Yes. Good boy. Yeah, you can see Murphy's mastered step two. Um, we're going to, well, master is maybe used a little loosely here. He definitely knows what I'm asking him to do when I'm getting close to him. So maybe if I get rid of the lure treat and... Uh, just get another treat in my other hand. Uh, he might actually just do this for us. So hold on. Let's see if we can get it. Murphy. There's no lure in this hand. Spin. Yes. Good boy. Let's call that step 2.5 where you don't have a lure at all in your hand. Instead, you just do the a action as if you've been luring him the whole time. And when he does it, you say, good spin. Yes. Reward. Okay, reward is so important. Don't be afraid to reward your dogs. Don't be afraid to use treats in your training with your puppies. Guys, you don't have to have the treats for the rest of your life. But at this age, he's five months old right now. At this age, who cares? Give him treats. Take a little bit away from the amount that you feed him in his breakfast or dinner if you're feeding him lots of treats through the day. It's okay to use treats in your training. Okay, you have full permission to use treats in your training um, and just enjoy this time with your dog. He's five months old. I don't care if he knows spin right now or not. I just wanted to show you guys how to get your dog to do pretty much any trick that you can imagine with a lure. He's already sitting, but I'll show you how to lure a sit out of a dog. So here, we're going to get him standing and then we're just going to do this. Good boy. That's perfect. So what I did is I took the lure treat and I just pushed his nose a little bit and his butt will usually naturally just drop to the ground and he'll sit down. Um, that's how to lure sit. Now Murphy already knows sit like the back of his hand. That's fine. But if you got a new puppy, that's how you would treat him. Okay. That's uh, sorry. That's how you would train him. So by all means do that. Murphy, come here. Let's do another one. Okay. So I got the lure treat here. And I've got another one in my other hand, and I'm going to lure him into a down position. So, here, Murphy, there you go. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Now, Murphy also knows a down really, really well. But, guys, look at this. He's in a totally new environment, and he's going into a down position for me. That's fantastic. Make sure you're using sits and downs with your dog in all sorts of different environments. Good boy. All done. And now I've released him. So that's important too. He's allowed to stand up now that I've released him. And uh, yeah, so um, let's see. Uh, let's try uh, Shake Your Paw. How do we lure that one? Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take the lure treat and I'm going to use dog's natural instinct on him. He wants this treat. So I'm going to let him really sniff at it and start. Look, he's already raised his hand. Good paw. Good boy. Yes, and then I reward it. He's going to lift his paw up as he's sniffing the treat in my hand to say kind of like, hey, give me that. Give me that treat. I want that treat. Yo, and he's going to just kind of knock my hand. As soon as he lifts that paw, reward and give him the lure or give him the reward. That's all there is to it. So lure training, absolutely. You can do just about any tricks with lure training. You just have to think about it a little bit. Think about the actions that your dog needs to go through, even the micro actions. What step does he need to take in order to make 
make him do what you want him to do. And guys, that's it. Thanks for watching the video on lure training or shaping your dog. Okay? Follow those three steps to get your dog to do just about any trick that you can imagine. And I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe. Comment down below some of the tricks that you'd like to teach your dog using lure training. Or give me some ideas. I would be great. Give me some ideas that I could teach Murphy with lure training. Thanks for watching. Check back again soon. Bye for now.